Hey guys, I'm Tom Stokeman. I'm here with my protein. I'm the world's strongest man. I'm here to uh, discuss my five favorite and best at the stone techniques. So, number one for me, before you even touch an at the stone, you should get yourself prepped by being able to kind of focus on the biggest muscles that at the stone uses. It's a whole body exercises, but hamstrings, lower back are the two most important muscles you need. To, to get yourself onto those at the stones. So, for me, the best exercise is a stiff leg deadlift. So obviously, it's like a deadlift, but you keep your legs a bit more straight and pull the bar right up to you and repeat that process. So, work on that. Number two for me is glute bridges or back extensions. Those two, again, are very, very, very good exercises to also build that kind of foundation to get you onto the at the stones. And then, tip number three, for me, when you're going on to the stones as well, is really, 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 really concentrate on not bending your arms when you're lifting your stones off the ground. A lot of people tend to lift the the stones with their biceps uh, bent out instead of their arms straight. So really, really focus squeezing your arms straight and get up to your lap. Tip number four for myself is when you're doing the stones as well, use all the protection you can. So. If you've got tacky available, put tacky on. If you've got stone sleeves, do what you can to make the stone, the stone lift easier. So for me, I use tacky and it gives you less, you don't need to squeeze as hard. You don't need to think about the process of the stone lift. And then number five for me is, uh, of course, so what for me, for the last bit of the stone is what you want to do is when you get your stone onto your knee, you really want to overextend your hips and really practice that full extension on, a, on an atlas stone. That really just gets you used to building yourself up for loading onto a platform, for um, putting over a bar, and just to get you used to that kind of height. And again, for that, that's where the back extensions and the, uh, the stiff leg deadlifts come in. So again, you just have to squeeze, you then change your grip and squeeze the stone as tight as you can, and you use your hips to flick it over. So guys, that's my five top tips for Atlas Stones.